I'm Stephen Hansen, part of the Impulse Manufacturing Lab led by Professor Glenn Bain at The Ohio State University. This is part of a series of videos highlighting our group's various high-velocity metalworking projects. Our group has recently been developing novel applications for the phenomenon of rapidly vaporized thin metal conductors. In this process, which is illustrated schematically here, electrical energy stored in a capacitor bank is released through a switched circuit that contains a thin metal conductor. When the energy deposition rate into the conductor is very high, which happens when the current in the circuit reaches its maximum very quickly, the metal conductor can be heated above its energy of sublimation before it has time to melt. Thus, the metal conductor vaporizes directly into a gas that expands rapidly, spurred by the extra energy deposited above the energy of sublimation. This pressure pulse from the expanding gas can be used to drive workpieces for various purposes, such as forming, shearing, tube expansion, and small-scale collision welding. The conductor can be in the form of a wire for axisymmetric pressure pulse distribution or a foil for a more planar pulse distribution. The design of these foils is a present area of research in our lab. In order to control the spot along the foil where the pressure pulse originates, we use a dog bone shape, such as the rudimentary design pictured here. If a simple straight foil were used, the pressure pulse instead would tend to initiate at the ends, where the foil is connected to the RLC circuit. The narrow section introduces a weak point in the center, so to speak, as the current becomes more crowded there and the energy per unit volume must be higher than elsewhere in the foil, ensuring that the vaporization initiates there. Illustrated here is a set of experiments designed to investigate the distribution of the planar pressure pulse by using an embossing die. At the top is the original basic foil design with a straight narrow section, and at the bottom is a modified design where the narrow section has a curved shape. The outer features of the die overlap the ends of the narrow section of the foil. The results visible here show how the pressure distribution differed between the two foil designs. For the straight section foil, the pressure developed at the ends of the narrow section was higher, embossing the edge features of the die more sharply than with the curved section foil. The curved section foil, on the other hand, had better definition in the center, where the machining features on the die are sharply embossed, indicating that the pressure was more concentrated in the center of the foil. Research on the design of these foils is ongoing, since the length, thickness, and shape of the foils all affect the vaporization, and the desired characteristics of the pressure pulse vary between different applications. Thank you for watching, and please check out the other videos about other branches of our lab's work.